new site that uh, have face recognition implemented. So what you see here is that someone has scanned 600,000 pictures. They have a new uh, option here called Liknade Prets. Uh, find uh, pro pro portraits that is looking like this. So now he goes, goes out and do a check. Uh, my understanding is performance is a little bit slow and I think that's uh, uh, because they don't have added so much resources. But you see here it's this one is wrong, but we have three that are the same. <laughs> the, the odd thing with the old picture is that I think this picture and this picture, even if it's in two different scan publications, it is the same picture they have used. So maybe it's an, the user case is a little bit easy. And they, so this is also the same, I think. Um, don't know how much... Um, text uh, if they use also text to find uh, narrow down the um, so here it's 668,957 so here we can see just by doing text search we can see that it's uh, same as uh, what we do then is that we Confirm this is OCR down here, and then the OCR is moving it to to structure fields, and then we confirm that this is correct. Prove, and then I uh, say add same person as, and then the persons that I have been reading lately. We are displayed. So this is the same person as that person. So then you can see it's a related portrait. What we also do um, is that on this portrait we have added a link to the Swedish Wikipedia. Unique number for this person is the persistent identifier is that one. Uh, so if I go down on Wikidata, this is the Wikipedia article, this person is in German English Simplified English is my understanding. If I go down to Wikidata, we say that this is his name, birth and so on. But then we have also added a external uh, property. So we can see he is in... Uh, Kungliga Vittighetsakademin, it's some committee. Uh, Court of Arms. Dictionary of National, you can see his, this is the National Archive writing about him. He was nominated in, to the Nobel Prize. He is in the National Encyclopedia. He is in Libris. So if I click on that one, hopefully I get the search. Yes. So this is books he is part of. I did a search on his Libris ID. And FOT. Then I think I also get people... Um, Here he is. He's an author for that. Uh, and what we also have done is to, to this community, Swedish Portrait Archive, we have added a link. So they say that this person is the same at that place, but it's also the same written in the German, Encyclopedia, English, and so on and so on. And the new thing we are cleaning now is that we try to confirm place of death, etc. So what we do is that this could be done much better. We could say that 
this person is the same as dictionary of here we have him so he's born in Västra Öds församling this is a good source with trusted quality it's done by the National Archive both and this is not as good so we make a more precise I change the preferred rank we add this Västra Eds församling we have two which is odd I have to check and then we add as a source dictionary of Swedish and then we just add the unique ID of that we have to check this why it's Linköping do we have Västra Eds Kalmarland I guess this is the wrong so then we looked at on that one Karlstad oh it was the correct Uh, we can check here if we go to the that link we should get a map and then it should be south east in Sweden Yes. So this is the correct location. Cool. Uh, so what I did here now is that I, if we refresh it, we say that this person is the same as the Swedish Portrait Archive. Uh, we also say this is the preferred rank we changed to Swedish to get the name. We have labels in different names here. So then it's Västra Eds församling. This, we confirm this by a trusted source. We confirm this with a trusted source. This trusted source also says Uppsala Domkyrka församling. So this is more like that. And we confirm that with a trusted source. We can also confirm that he's a priest. And he is a church historian. So we confirm that on that way. Uh, if I search here, we can see he was uh, working with the church history at Åbo Academy. We have a date for that. So that means that we can tell start date for this activity and we have a source for that which is the Sw Swedish natural biographical lexicon Erkebiskop priest oh that's a um, and here we have also where he has been uh, working uh, back what we did we was that we find a picture of him we did a find same 
good looking pro pro uh, portraits and then we connected them. Rather cool. Uh, so this is the database with 600,000 portraits done by um, crowdsourcing. It's mostly one person. Some other person helped him wrote this magic application with OCR. Not this one was not a good OCR, but we, maybe we can go to the next one. Uh, the OCR this text have machine learning on this text populate the fields. And normally it's excellent. And then now they have added find similar portraits. <sighs>